In this video, we're going to continue our discussion of the SQM5 actuator, but we're also going to cover the G, H, and K board functions. For this demonstration, we're going to use the G board, or the 4 to 20 milliamp option, and we're also going to assume that the actuator is on black scale. There are a few key features that all G, H, and K boards have in common. The first is the manual auto switch. When the motor is in manual, and there's line power applied to the L terminal, you can drive the motor up and down using these arrow keys. With the motor in auto setting, there's a few additional features. First is the A terminal here. If you supply line voltage to A, the actuator will drive open to, cam, to the CAM1 setting. If you supply power on the Z terminal here, the actuator will drive close to the CAM2 setting. If you apply power to the ZL terminal here, the actuator will drive down to the CAM3 setting. We recommend that you have CAM2 and CAM3 settings set the same, unless you have a good reason to do so otherwise. Also, if you supply power to the LR uh, pin right here, then that'll allow the actuator to modulate with a given input signal. Since we are using the G board, we're modulating with a 4 to 20 milliamp signal. The positive of the signal will go on this Y plus terminal, and the minus of the signal will go on this Y minus terminal. When modulating, the actuator will rotate between the cam, cam settings of cam 1 and cam 3. This is an important notice. When powering any terminal on the actuator, you should only power one line terminal at a time. Powering multiple terminals at once could result in damage to the motor. While the motor is in release to modulate, this OPE min-max switch has some functionality as well. When the switch is in the OPE position, the motor will modulate based on the supplied input signal. When the switch is switched to the max setting, the motor will drive up to the CAM1 setting or open. When the switch is set to the min setting, the actuator will drive down to the CAM3 position. This is also the range that the motor modulates between CAM1 and CAM3. You also notice these min and max pots on the bottom. These are used to span your incoming input signal. Another feature to take note of are the remaining three switches here on the back of the actuator. These switches are auxiliary switches and are set by cams 4, 5, and 6. Each of these switches have a common, normally open, and normally closed spade terminal. That wraps up this video on the SQM5 actuator. If you have any additional questions on additional features, functions, or settings, please make sure to contact your SCC sales rep or tech support. Also, be sure to please check the links below for videos on additional control boards and some key features on the SQM5.